Hello everybody, uh, we're going to talk about White Stars for a little bit. Our corporation leader asked to cover the basics. So first let's talk about what a White Star is. A White Star is a drawn out version of a Red Star. I believe the time ratio is 600 to 1. So a 15 minute Red Star translates to a five-day white star so first you need to build a white star scanner and then your corporation will initiate a scan and it can be five versus five which will be phased out soon 10 versus 10 and 15 versus 15 and I believe it goes higher than that that's all we've participated in up to this point so once you have your white star scanner and the corporation has initiated a match, uh, you can send one battleship and one support ship. Uh, that can either be a miner or transport, one or the other, not, not both. Uh, let's go ahead and go in and we'll talk about some game mechanics. The white star... Go ahead and back up a little bit. The White Star is a very, very large map. And since it's over the course of five days, everything is very, very slow and exaggerated. So uh, in this match, we've got the White Star in the middle. And then we've got a gate on either side where each team will warp in together. So unlike a Red Star... Uh, everyone is going to warp in at the same spot, depending on which corporation they're in. So usually the the layout is mirrored. Uh, there's some slight variation just based on the way the, the numbers are generated. Uh, what I'm using to start over is called the time machine. The time machine allows you to uh, fast forward or review moves that were made or that you want to make so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit you can see some of my scheduled moves for the future that have already been initiated uh, they keep track and come off as they're executed and you fill in with new ones so we're going to go ahead and speed this up you can see some of our guys warping in some of their guys warping in uh, we try to not warp in everybody until right before the preparation period is over, which I believe is 12 hours. Um, it's not a game killer, but giving your opponent an idea of what you're bringing to the table is usually not the best idea until the last minute. Um, so let's go ahead and speed it up and start the movements. Every movement you see on our side... Uh, that's the green side. Every movement you see from our players is being executed in the time machine. So no one, no one is making live movements. It takes too long, and and if you do that, it doesn't give you an option to see what's going to happen. Um, using the time machine is of the essence. You absolutely have to use it. There's no way to predict what the enemy will do, and being able to change something at a later date is absolutely crucial. So we're going to go ahead and speed up a little bit more. Uh, your corporation colors are green, your ships are blue, in case you get confused. Um, so as you can see, the preparation period is over. And everyone's going to just kind of explode out from the gate. There's always a little bit of lag involved with the time machine and the way the game works. Um, but that's okay. The important part is just when you're plugging in orders, it doesn't do that too bad. So we're up to two hours ago. And then we'll go ahead and increase. Continue on. And now we're in the future six minutes from now and you can see some of the movements that have been placed uh, by myself i'm in blue i'm moving my miner to an asteroid field and see that that is all the enemy is going to see my current path that's all they're going to see 
but if you notice right as I get to the asteroid I plug in my next move and for them to know where I'm gonna go next they would have to log in and head that way um, they would have to log in to see exactly what I'm gonna do at exactly the time that I execute the order um, if they if they want to be that efficient and responsive not very many corporations are like that um, so this tactic tends to work pretty well with us so I'm moving my miner my transport and my battleship not my miner out and now we'll go ahead and plug in a, a move and show you how the time warp the time machine works so I'm gonna take my battleship and I want to capture this planet so I'm gonna go ahead and target it and since I know that my battleship is faster than my transport I can go ahead and plug both those moves in at the same time the scheduled orders can hold five at a time so I don't think it'll hold much more than that and it'll tell you that there's an error it won't it won't accept anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in to try to maximize how long my shield will last I'm gonna get as close as I can and then go ahead and hit my shield you see it plugs it in with a two minute delay go ahead and take that out now uh, I don't have to be awake this is this is happening 16 hours from now I'll probably be awake and check on it but sometimes you got to sleep and you don't have time to micromanage uh, to that level so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this a little bit and the time machine will allow you to go all the way up to 48 hours from the current time so you can if you want to capture a relic and take it back to your gate you can do that um, and that's how the time machine works if you want to go back there's a button up in the top left hand corner you can backtrack in 12 hour increments there we go so I can say oh well that's not what I wanted to do so uh, if you want you can backtrack even further and you just fast forward to the point where you see your orders being initiated and you can cancel those so I want to cancel my battleship cancel my Omega shield and go ahead and cancel the rest of these because I'm not sure that's the move I want to make just yet but that's how the time machine works um, it's easy to coordinate your moves with other players in your corporation to make sure you get the most out of strategic value uh, especially with the way the targeting system works in Haiti Star uh, that's it thanks a lot